Welcome to another edition of the Tiger Tube here at the Bay Barn Bistro. Last week we played Sturt and got up by 49 points. The second half, the playing group really responded well to a couple of key areas identified at half time. The ball movement, the pressure on the opposition, having 59 tackles and 55 tackles was very good. The key we need to do as a footy club is improve our consistency. Best three players from Friday night includes our skipper Ty Allen, who had 17 possessions, including 15 effective. He also had five clearances and was a PB for our footy club with 27 team acts, including 14 contested ball wins. The second best player includes Warwick McGinty, who's our second Powerade Star Search nomination for the year. Craig Pitt was our first. He had 20 possessions and also 19 hitouts. His work in the third term was outstanding and really gave the midfielders first juice around the clearances. Third best includes Max Proud, who had 16 possessions, and some of his work down back was outstanding. His positioning has been one area to work on, and he's definitely actioning that feedback, and Friday night was a very positive sign for him. Also, congratulations to Daniel Kirk, who played his 100th game for the footy club. This week we play Norwood out of the parade. No doubt it's going to be a very challenging game, considering Norwood haven't lost thus far this year. Last year we played here at home and unfortunately went down by 14 points. We had a number of pleasing performances from our reserves players who are currently sitting fifth at the moment. Unfortunately they went down by 17 points against Sturt. Those players include Shannon Snook who finished off some really good work upfield with four goals. He also had a total of 27 team acts including eight chases and eight tackles. It was really pleasing to see Stephen Salopek respond in a very positive fashion, totalling 29 possessions. Also, we have a player from Kai Key, Ryan McFarlane, who's been a really positive addition to our playing group. He had a total of 26 team max, including 11 tackles. As mentioned before, this Friday night, we're playing Norwood down at Cooper Stadium. Encourage everyone to get there. For a 7.40 game, make sure you come down and support the reserves earlier. When you do come down this Friday night at Cooper Stadium v Nord, you'll see our players wearing our away strip. It's a leaping Tiger Clash Guernsey. It's been a really popular choice thus far this year. I encourage everyone to come down to the shop and purchase one. We're only wearing it twice this year, obviously this Friday night v Nord, and also round 17 v West Adelaide. Click in the comments section below to tell us what you think. A thank you to all our supporters and members out there. We're currently 35% on home match attendances for the first three games compared to last year. It's not too late to become a member. Currently we're sitting at 2,400 members and we're trusting that by the end of this week we'll have 2,500, so make sure you sign up. Good news for those that have liked us on Facebook. You'll be going into a draw to win one of 20 hats signed by a player of your choice. For those that haven't liked us on Facebook yet, make sure you do. Every 100 likes, We'll also go into a draw to have a signed hat by the player of your choice. And make sure you get out this Friday night to support our players against Norwood at Cooper Stadium. We'll see you there.